Why do so many of us, despite our best efforts, seem to stumble and fall in the pursuit of success? This is a question that has perplexed mankind for centuries. It's a question that has sparked countless debates, inspired numerous books, and led to countless sleepless nights. We live in a world where success is often measured by our achievements, by the goals we've reached and the milestones we've crossed. Yet, it's a harsh reality that many of us, in our quest for success, encounter obstacles and setbacks that seem insurmountable, like towering mountains we can't seem to climb. Failure, it seems, is a universal experience. It takes on many forms and strikes when we least expect it. It could be the dream job you didn't land, the business venture that didn't take off, or the relationship that didn't work out. It could be the test you didn't pass, the promotion you didn't get, or the project you couldn't complete. Yet, it's not the failure itself that defines us, but how we respond to it, how we learn from it, and how we use it as a stepping stone to rise higher. And as we navigate this journey, we begin to realize that there are common threads, shared experiences, and universal reasons why people often fail in life. These reasons, often overlooked, can be the key to unlocking a deeper understanding of our own failures, and more importantly, to learning how to overcome them. Could it be the fear of failure that holds us back? Or perhaps it's a lack of persistence or a tendency to procrastinate. Maybe it's a lack of discipline or poor self-esteem. As we unravel these reasons, we could potentially unlock the mystery of why people often fail in life, and more importantly, how we can avoid these pitfalls and steer ourselves towards success. Stay tuned as we delve into the top 10 reasons why people often fail in life. Let's embark on this journey of discovery together and perhaps in the process find the keys to our own success. Number 10 on the list, fear of failure. This fear, my friends, can be an incredibly paralyzing force. Picture an artist, paintbrush poised, canvas gleaming white, but they're frozen, unable to make that first stroke. Why? Because they're petrified of creating something less than perfect. They're so afraid of failing that they never even begin. This is how the fear of failure works. It can stop us from taking risks, from stepping out of our comfort zones, from making necessary changes in our lives. It's like a shadow, lurking in the corners of our minds, whispering of potential embarrassment, disappointment, or rejection. But here's the thing. By letting this fear control us, we're essentially setting ourselves up for the very failure we're trying to avoid. We're denying ourselves the opportunity to learn, grow, and succeed. The fear of failure, it seems, can be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Coming in at number nine, lack of persistence. Ever heard the saying, the road to success is always under construction? It's true. Success is not a one-time thing. It's a journey, a constant climb up the ladder, and persistence is the key that unlocks the door to this journey. Too often, we abandon our dreams, our goals, just because we encounter a few roadblocks. We give up too soon, not realizing that these roadblocks are stepping stones, not stumbling blocks. They are there to test our resolve, our grit, our persistence. The world's most successful individuals are not those who never failed, but those who never quit. They persisted, they persevered, despite the odds. Remember, success is a marathon, not a sprint. It demands patience, it demands persistence. So, don't let a few setbacks deter you. Keep moving forward. It's not about how hard you fall, but how quickly you get back up. Number eight on our list, procrastination. Ah, the art of putting things off until the last possible moment. We've all been there, right? You have a task to complete, but somehow you always find something else to do. You tell yourself, I'll do it later, or I have plenty of time. But what happens when later becomes too late? Procrastination is a silent dream killer. It's like a thief in the night, quietly robbing us of our precious time. We often underestimate its impact, but the truth is the more we delay, the more opportunities we lose. It's a cycle that can lead to missed goals, unfulfilled potential, and ultimately, failure. Remember, each moment that passes is a moment you'll never get back. So why waste it? Procrastination might seem harmless, but it's a habit that can cost you dearly. Time waits for no one, and neither does success. At number seven, we have lack of discipline. Discipline, or rather the lack of it, plays a crucial role in our journey towards success. It's what keeps us on track, helps us to maintain focus, and ensures that we're steadily progressing towards our goals. However, a lack of discipline on the other hand can lead us astray, causing us to lose sight of our objectives 
and ultimately, leading to failure. It's like setting sail on a vast ocean with no compass. Sure, you might have a destination in mind, but without a disciplined approach to navigation, you're likely to drift aimlessly, tossed about by the whims of the wind and waves. Discipline is about more than just self-control. It's about consistency, resilience, and the determination to keep pushing forward, even when the going gets tough. It's the fuel that keeps the engine of success running, and without it, we're more likely to stall than to soar. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. Number six, poor self-esteem. Imagine a balloon with a small hole. Slowly, it deflates, losing its form, its potential. This is what poor self-esteem can do to our ambitions, our dreams. It's like an invisible chain, holding us back from reaching our full potential. It whispers doubts in our ears, amplifying our fears and insecurities. We start to question our abilities, our worth, we shrink back from challenges, miss opportunities, all because we don't believe we're good enough. We become our own worst enemies. This self-inflicted limitation is a primary cause of failure. But remember, self-esteem isn't handed to us, it's cultivated. It's a garden we need to tend. By challenging negative self-perceptions, by celebrating our strengths and acknowledging our weaknesses, we can nurture our self-esteem. Believe in yourself, even when no one else does. Now that we've explored the common reasons for failure, what can we do about it? The first step is understanding. Recognizing these pitfalls can help us prevent stumbling into them, but understanding alone isn't enough. We need to actively counter these issues. When fear of failure paralyzes us, let's shift our perspective, viewing failure as a stepping stone rather than a pitfall. If lack of persistence is our nemesis, we must cultivate resilience, bouncing back even stronger after setbacks. For procrastination, the antidote is decisive action. And when discipline seems elusive, let's turn to routines and habits that streamline our path to success. Lastly, to conquer poor self-esteem, we must nurture self-love and acceptance, knowing that we are more than our mistakes. Change isn't easy, but it's within our grasp. With a little patience and a lot of persistence, we can turn failure into a stepping stone towards success. Remember, failure doesn't define you. It's what you do after you fail that truly matters. We hope you found this video insightful. It's time now to take a moment, reflect on the reasons for failure we've explored. Think about the fear of failure, lack of persistence, procrastination, lack of discipline, and poor self-esteem. Recognizing these pitfalls is the first step to overcoming them, to transforming failure into a stepping stone for success. Ask yourself, do any of these reasons resonate with you? Have they held you back? And more importantly, how can you address them moving forward? Remember, it's never too late to change your course and rewrite your story. We'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts? Any personal experiences or insights you'd like to share? Your comments could spark a valuable discussion and even help others on their journey. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Give this video a like if you found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe and share with anyone who might benefit from this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for